Boy, that's an old-ass Konami logo. Back when they wanted to make a little cartoon character out of that thing, but they never figured out how. Well, because it's a weird fucking wavy tube. Man yeah, it thing. is. Now that, on the other hand... That's the Vesuvius Man. But it's with an astronaut's outfit on. And a gun in one hand. He's got a gun in his You familiar hand. with 2001 A Space Odyssey? No, okay. actually. Well... Everything I've... Uh, so... 2001 is one of those things where I saw, I've seen clips, everyone's seen clips and pieces. And every time I see it, I'm like, boy, Stanley Kubrick was way up his own ass. You know who's not up his own ass? This is really interesting. Do you know who's not up his own ass? Who's who's not? Not Hideo Kojima. That's right. <laughs> not? Wait. Who's not up his own ass? Not Hideo Kojima. But you know what? We want to be up Hideo Kojima's so, ass because that's the right place to be. If Death Stranding is coming out of Hideo Kojima's ass, then we all want to be up there with him. So a lot of people haven't played this. Including us. Because uh, it was recently only in the Japanese. Well. Uh, and Mr. Slowbeef helped us out to turn this into English. I mean, a man, a beef, yeah. stepped in. A quietly slow-moving beef, and that, that being. Like, that's the, that, I, I can't respect that any harder, where it's like, he literally just went, no one's done oh, this? Oh, that's that fucking tap beat soundtrack that I remember from MGS1, but... Oh man, is that from Police Knots? This? That, that, that. This is a plea the Police Knots, like, main menu theme. That's what you're hearing. Oh. Right now. Yeah. That's, so that was a reference. Oh, okay. But. Oh. We're on. Yes, it's extremely. We're on. We are medium and we are default. That, that, that Southpaw thing looks like a joke. I, I, I you know, we'll, we'll, we'll find that, I suppose. So a lot of people don't know what Police Knots is. So the back in. 98. 94. No, hold on. Let me go. Go ahead. Where go, I'm ahead going here. go ahead. Uh, Metal Gear Solid came out, and when you talk to Otacon, he starts talking about how he wants to make robots, mm -hmm. like in the Japanese animes. Mm -hmm. And there's a... Uh, we can save up to two games. That's stupid. Um, oh, you got to put your memory card in. Oh, I thought I did. Oh, man. So the thing is, is there's a bunch of anime cutscenes from Police Knots in there, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I uh, and then Kojima like really liked those cutscenes that he made, mm -hmm. and he went back and made a retro game for the PS1 called Police Knots based on those cutscenes. Oh, okay, okay. That's that's how that happened. Okay, so he went he went back in yeah. time and faked it. Yeah, it's like when so Police Knots never really existed back then. No, yeah, it's like when it's like when Twin Snakes came out. Mm -hmm. They they saw those anime cutscenes that they had made with that cool robot stuff. Yeah, they were like. That'd be a good name you for uh, uh, Zone of the Enders. That'd be good. Did that say fucking the 2010? The future of 2010. Oh, We're man. going. Oh, no. Oh, dude, the colonies. Oh, it's real bad. Police officers trained as astronauts. Oh. That's so far away. Oh, we'll never get there. Oh, that's a good goddamn name. It is. This is the spiritual successor to Snatcher. Oh, yeah, for real. Now, there's some differences between the PlayStation and Saturn versions. Oh, really? Mainly sprite art. Huh. But, um, and a couple extra scenes, I believe. But, either way, this is fresh to How us. How many crimes do you And we get to experience Kojima's full writing outside the constraints of the Metal Gear universe. How much crime do you expect to encounter in deep space Dude, floating around? Can I remind you of something important? People are assholes, just in case you forgot. Oh shit! Jonathan! Oh, these are weirdly produced. Oh, dude. So anyway, people are assholes in space. If you bring them to space, they're gonna be dicks. Space dicks. As... Oh, wow. That is... Oh, man. Also, that... mistakes happen in space. That... That... Type of accident... Like... Brings up, like, a really 
bad feeling in my chest. You should watch the film Gravity. Uh, I did. Did that? Did that? It's very spooky. There you go. Because mistakes in space, dude. Uh oh, I'm just. One guy just didn't gonna, tighten that bolt hard enough. Oh, I'm just gonna float off forever, I guess. Like, wasn't there that one like insane like uh, nuclear? Uh, not, not, uh, what was it? Was it a, a reactor that? Or it was something crazy where uh, there's like a huge bomb and these guys were cleaning, and like they just he just dropped a screw somewhere and decided to reach with his hands to tighten the thing. And it was just like, and fucking almost, it was this crazy accident that I'm referencing that I don't know the details of. So I'm doing, I'm not nowhere well, near doing it there is justice. something similar with the, the Challenger explosion. Where it was like a, 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 the a, most, a, a dumb human a, error. A, a minuscule manufacturing oh, error. Oh yeah, get me in there. Dude, take oh. me back to that Snatcher intro. Let's do it. Oh wait, oh, we're in old Los Angeles. But this time around... Oh, there's a solid snake bar! Oh, oh, shut up! Instead of that saxophone, that sexy saxophone, we're just going on this uh, a different track right now, but it's the same vibes, man. So one of my favorite things whenever you see anime cutscenes like this, or, or you watch your animu, is your, your, your fucking mm. Sona... Like Walkman mm -hmm, and all that, mm -hmm. that fucking dumbass shit we oh, saw in the background. There he is. Jonathan Ingram. I thought he floated off into space. I think that's what got him this job. I think it's I think because of that that mistake, he kind of ended up here. But we'll find out. I don't know. It's I not. know next to nothing. I know. I know nothing. Not. Like he does look like the main guy character from. Um, uh, Eighth MS though, right? He looks sure. pretty damn similar. Oh wait, I'm thinking of something different. I don't know about Eighth MS. You watched Eighth MS team? Yes, you have. Uh, yes, you am have. Am I getting that confused with something else? You're it's talking the, about Shiro. Uh, the the who falls in love with uh, the, the girl, Zion girl. Yeah, yeah. she's not. Oh, he's he, a scrawny baby. He looks he like an adult man. Similar haircut. Come on. Oh, almost. I don't believe you, Willie. You're crazy. Let's find out real quick. Can't get there any faster than me. <laughs> yeah, no, that's. Am I way off? You're super way off. Oh my god, I'm so far off. <laughs> His hair is so spiky. And I was short. so wrong so quickly. Yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> no, my memories of him were like of a curly haired guy that had that sort of mullet. But I'm super off. Never mind. You were. What happened? Should you be older? No, he was super young at the time, I guess. Well, this is 25 years later. Yeah, you're old LA. Which is snowing. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. You gotta love the Lucy's hanging out of your main character's mouth. Set that tone. It's, it's one of the most important parts of like a noir story. Everyone has to smoke. Mm -hmm. The smoking is cool. That Spike Spiegel Lucy. Oh my god, what kind of game is this? Uh, so that color flickering is normal, by the way. Oh, yeah? yeah. Also, the audio cuts might happen a little bit. It's possible. As long as we get these, these, these subtitles. Mm -hmm. Shoot the picture of your wife. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So this, oh, it's yeah! It's one of these. Oh, play Clock Tower now. <laughs> nah, that's, we're not going outside. Now system, I assume, is literally just options. Yeah. So uh, the most most the only still give off secondary smoke. What? Why would you? I don't like the pure bent cigarettes you get. Why would today. you get? <laughs> Why would you these get? These are mixed cigarettes, part conventional, part blend. Bent cigarettes are cigarettes that don't produce any secondary smoke, which you light simply by breaking off the end. Oh! We are doing codec conversations for ourselves oh. right now. I say light, but there's no actual fire. Involved. Why would? 
they they were off. chemical reaction. Okay. Mm -hmm. They don't give off smoke or ash, <laughs> and they make a room more pleasant. But they're not my thing. The only brand I touch now are most. That's the what? first thing. <laughs> Why? The very first thing is just world establishing unnecessary background it also, setting. It more. also establishes that our protagonist is an asshole. He's one of those guys. He's such no, an asshole. Or, or he's just, uh, he really appreciates the old school. Yeah, but he's like, I don't care if these kids are gonna get sick. <sighs> well, if I'm the only one in their life breathing it in their face, yeah, the rest of the time they'll be fine. That's uh, also a Japanese-made game where lung cancer is not that big of a factor. Mm -hmm. What's up with that? How come the Japanese don't get lung cancer? You seen a pachinko parlor? Yeah, I've been one. That shit is fucking nightmarish. They used aluminum cans before, but these ones are made of biodegradable plastic. Oh yeah, we got that now. That's it's smart. It's that's expensive. A smart, that's a smart beer can. All right. I want to see a picture of you and your wife. This is a photo at of Lucas Lorraine. World. Lucas World. Lorraine. Or no wife. Or no wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, why, why is you he up? said, Ore no wife. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that means. My wife. Okay, yeah. Someone else's wife now. But he's saying the word wife. It sounds hilarious. So, I'm getting the. F there's a. I, I, you know how there's a big flash of light when he when he had his accident and he floated off into space? Yeah. And how he's. He's, he's got old cigarettes, mm -hmm. old style cigarettes, mm -hmm. and he's no longer a cop, policeman, not. Mm -hmm. And now his wife is gone. This looks like a man out of time. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, space. Maybe we'll have something to do with it. I guess we'll find out. Oh man, out. that fucking that this is the, this that is, is Christmas Eve of. 2000. That's what I'm trying to say. This is dated Christmas Eve, the year 2000. Oh man, that's weird. At UCLA. Was caught fresh out of Wait, yeah. you can examine individual parts of, of the, photo? the photo. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a big one. Yeah. There's, there's. Two thousand eight. Oh, I can't. Okay. Yeah, I'm not no, the, well, that zero. Come on. It's our first Christmas together. Still got the watch. Hmm. What? Radio control. Does that State exist? Of the art for the time. All right. Is this what Kojima thought the future was gonna be like? This is what he wanted for the oh, future. Oh, that's different. And there's the wedding photo, of, of course. course. Look what a bunch of dorks we look like. Uh, we were cosplaying so Jonathan and Aaron. Yeah, yeah, basically. It was still a cop here in LA. Lorraine dropped out of UCLA. Yeah, Smart! Good move! Like a true waifu? Drop out of, drop out of higher education the day you get married. Uh, Lorraine was like an angel. Come on, guys. You all know you drop out of fucking university to, like, when you're pregnant, not when you get married. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. All right. Maximize your kitchen usage No, no, time. no. It's just... To, it's so that... <laughs> what are you going it's for? It's so that the baby doesn't drown in the bathtub when you're at school. Doesn't doesn't take a flush. Yeah. Okay, I remember discovering my rental tux didn't fit right before the ceremony. Originally, I had a black tuxedo. Well... I think you look pretty swapped. You look there, like a Jonathan. Christmas tree asshole. Lorraine had this friend in the flower shop arranged for bouquet. Can I look at my, my little tie or my. Oh, my life That's sweet. Well, sounds like a true husbando. Until the accident. And now she's. You have a note on your goddamn answering machine. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What is the information? Asked to look for their four-year-old son. Okay. You just don't see many ransom kidnappings nowadays. Safer for all. Oh, oh, oh. Quickly oh, solved. Oh, oh, geez. All right. So that's still a thing. Yeah. Guaranteed oh. to see a return on those. Did you see the that uh, that new technology that they're gonna start human tests on? The nano injecting organ replacer. I did not. <laughs> Is that exactly what it sounds like? Yeah. Okay. It's a nano syringe that injects DNA into uh, uh, host cells and replicate whatever the fuck you want from your own skin cells. Fucking radical. Also in this future, <laughs> this is a future that, like many others, could not envision the existence of FaceTime. Yes. So here we or are. Or 
aggressively imagine the existence of FaceTime. Video phones. Those weren't completely a waste of everyone's time. You have a video phone right now. But but the actual old line line video phone. Sometimes you need to see the fi- the the person. Shall we? Yes. All right. Awesome. That's just Shouldn't you be out finding that kid whose organs might be getting harvested? Uh oh. Oh man, this is the most. God damn it, that's how you set it up every time. Huh? How about the kid that's missing? I don't know. There's something like. <laughs> There's something fucked up and paradoxical about being a, a private eye uh, or like a criminal investigator in a, in a situation like this. Because you got your feet up, right? And you're having yep. your smoke and you're having like, maybe a beer or a coffee. And you're just like, boy, wish there was more crime. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Could really go with some more crime. Oh, that's... Yeah. That sounds like a perfect 80s side character right there. Wow, this guy's voicemail gets more than three messages? My voicemail only gets three messages. Space Yakuza. Well, space Yakuza in LA? I mean... Probably. Uh, how many of these There's have? quite a few! Oh. Damn. Your case, the crime so. solved itself? My son came back with all of his organs. He apologized for being out too late. Prank caller, really? Well, that was the there's last only one. one solution now. That's it, dude. The, the blinking yeah. light turned off. Is look at your gun. <laughs> I'm sure there's other things and to look at. And select your gun. Look, a miniature of Beyond. Ed made it for me. That's Ed's in a couple pictures over there on the wall. Look at your gun and put it in your mouth! No. There's more for Gillian Seed. I mean, Jonathan Ingram. That looks like Gillian Seed are in the bottom right, but it's Jonathan Ingram. Rescued from the survival ball. Ah, that's how he survived. Ah, lucky. 25 years of wandering. There it is. That's the... Ah. Yeah. So he is, he is straight up a man out of time. Oh. That sucks. Interesting. I've had cosmophobia <laughs> ever since. I just can't go back out there anymore. Well, yeah. Cosmophobia. Huh? Of That's, course. That, yep. Picture taken of me when I was the police not. That'll 25 years will fucking do that. But he must have been like. Out of it. He had to. Yeah, he must have been like stasis. Suspended or right? something. Yeah, no, no way. Well, because he doesn't look like he's 55. John, police not Jonathan Ingram, presumed dead after an accident during a spacewalk with the e EMPS. Prototype 25 years ago has been res rescued by an unmanned exploration vessel. Propaganda. Just a little bit. Miraculous uh, survival. Da, 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 da. It attributed to the fact to an Oh, there you go. Life by the there time. There he is. He's a cold sleep. Cold sleep. Perfect. He's gathering attention as a living example of the effects of 25 years of cold sleep on the human body. So we're look we're playing as Fry right now. But yeah, a little bit. Mini Fry. I was super fucked up and emaciated. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hey, if you ever get like a horrible leg injury or something, right, and you have to be bedridden for a bit, get the fuck out of bed occasionally and walk around with your shitty leg. Yeah, Cause, man. Because the last thing you want to do is, good, your leg's healed, and then you're like, I can't get out of bed. Don't let that atrophy happen. Don't become like the, the Buddha that has his, his arms and legs all, like, shriveled away. Um, Did you just make that up? No, that's like... real. There's a dude who, who meditated so long that, like, he has his arms and legs are all, like, kind of shriveled, and he's, like, a good luck sign 
It's like a little charm they have of him with like no arms or legs okay, in a meditation pose. Uh, not exactly supposed to read. Okay. Papers inside are worth one. Eat your gun. <sighs> it's a report he's working on another child kidnapping. Oh, but my negotiations you screwed up. Papers failed. I couldn't save the child. He's probably already been cut apart and his organs trafficked. To the wow! Wow! Sorry, kid. Good. Wow. Hey, Jonathan. You're doing a good job here. You <laughs> what? <That's laughs> oh man, that's shady as fuck. Oh boy, there's a picture of those days on the wall. So I wonder what that's for. I wonder. Getting places you're not supposed to get. Uh, a Breda 92F. Is that the same gun that's used in Resident Evil One? I think it is. Just a modified recoil gun equipped with a laser sight. Let me guess, how old school is it? Special 10 run magazines. <laughs> Look at that Armor gun! Armor piercing bullets. It recoils! Right? <laughs> it, That's like a baby's gun! Or how about like, it still uses bullets? It doesn't use the mass effect system? Yeah. Of shaving off a slice of material? Like a single molecule of iron or whatever the fuck they fired people. What a fucking old man. Uh, strictly for protection. See, this is- you know what? This character's great. Because this character missed out on the future, which is perfect, because we don't know what the future is. Yeah. Oh, uh, here we go. This is the photo, actually, from Metal Gear, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, uh, on I, the cover. I, I think. On I the poster? Yeah. Yeah, or something like that. But it has a big police knot up at the top. Five officers out of all the world. And two from the LAPD. The original cops. In case we meet aliens, we need the finest police. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Such yeah, as yeah. the LAPD to meet those foreign aliens. Not special forces <laughs> of any kind. Not UN peacekeeping forces for some reason. We want... Interpol. We want beat cops from LA. <laughs> yeah. Tell those aliens what for. <laughs> hey, you're that guy who shut up that grandma's car because you shit your pants. Okay. You're gonna meet aliens. That's Gates Becker, he's from Scotland Yard. I- oh man. The Beyond Coast Police. Right. Joseph. Joseph. Tokugawa. A name that implies royalty. Oh, does it? Well, well, now he's the head of the Tokugawa group, so he might as well be royalty. Tokugawa is- yeah, there was a Tokugawa shogunate. I did not know. <gasps> oh my god. <sighs> wow, that would destroy your marriage. Honey, I don't want you to go to space. Well, I mean, going to space is bad on any relationship because you're gone. In space. Oh. Edo Brown. Oh. Ed gets a special one? <laughs> he gets the music. Oh, yeah, because they're both from the LAPD, of course. Ed Brown. That's Ed. Nice. With the little tone. I appreciate it. Just out of LAPD along with me. Wow. How about those fucking... No NYPD up in this piece? Salvatore. Toscanini. I like this guy. Oh, there's the ah, NYPD. There you go. Perfect. Beyond the coast. Police. These were chosen because they were the only two American police forces that Kojima could think of at the top of his head. So how old are these fucks gonna be? They're gonna be the excuse for you to hang around cool old, old cops? Yeah. But you're still a young, fresh yeah. face. Ah, Koji knows and, what he's and doing. Jonathan's a perfect excuse for us to, to be like, hey. Oh my god, his whole his whole office is just a fucking like weird fanboy relic of the past. It really is, but that's the only past he knows. But All like right. you go to this guy, it's like save my kid, and it's like Imagine it was like you go to a PI's office and you're like, you need to save my kid, and he's like all anime all over the walls and shit. I guess I gotta keep checking stuff out. Well, there was a thing that says go outside. I just did that. I was waiting for I'll just client. wait for that client. I only get depressed when I go outside. <laughs> too ripped out of his time? Too, too future for you? I still have a couple thi- oh, so they really want us- Yeah. What about the cigarettes on the thing? The cigarettes? Yeah, that- those ones. An ashtray I stumbled across an antique store. It wasn't easy finding one of these. You don't need an ashtray bent for bent cigarettes, after all. Oh my Butts god. Are starting to overflow. I guess I should empty it. No, nah, but that'll ruin the mood, right? Yeah. The old cool mood you're going for? What about your 
be. Oh, what if a? Oh my God! What if a? What if a? A, a nice dame wanders in and doesn't see your bent cigarette. She's not gonna know how cool you are. Oh man, look at this old man. I like that, but he's got. He's like a young man, and I like that. Get your fedora out. <sighs> you say as we transition to the next scene where he calmly places a fedora. In 1994, yeah. he can get away with That's it. All right. Uh, let's see. What else? <laughs> Those are all his diplomas. Well, they certainly make you set up this character. Yeah. He, he, he misses the past, and he misses that he, like, lost... Real books. ...enormous amounts of time. Filing cabinet. Oh, you can open I that can shit. I can open it. Nobody would work here. It smells... I had a help wanted sign. Takers, huh? Dude, if if he's the only person who smokes cigarettes that, or one of the only people we encounter that smokes cigarettes that actually have secondhand smoke, that means he reeks like shit compared to mm -hmm. everyone else. Mm -hmm. it's, in, a, in a society that no longer smokes, smokers gain a hard ass smell. It becomes super weird, no question. Uh, what about the beer? Did you look at the beer? I, uh, the fresh beer. I didn't look at the fresh beer. Yeah, look at this beer. Half empty can of beer. The only beer most people can afford is this imitation beer. Such remembering how good a cold one used to be. Now beer sucks because I wonder, it's the future. Well, is it going to be like a Saropo? You that's know? the pen, right? Oh, that's the pen, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. The wall? No, 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 no. You still got those diplomas up there? Did I? Or the fuck those are? There's the, so there was the photo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, look at these diplomas. All right. Look at these diplomas and awards. That's okay. That yeah. And oh, and it, it, it lets you skip over all that bullshit. Yeah. There we there go. There you go. Me and Ed though. Back in the the cool ass style of what ninety four would this be? No, that's twenty ten. The badge on my desk is a replica of the one I had back. Then. Remember when people dressed like that in, in twenty ten? In twenty well, sorta. Yeah. Kinda. I mean. Those jack you know, your 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 old uh which varsity jackets never really go out of style. Yeah, as long as you're an asshole who's willing to run somebody over with his car in some kind of eighties plot twist, you can absolutely wear a varsity jacket. I see a varsity jacket, I think of Biff. Right. Like right, period. Right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh Brady Oil lighter. Alright. It's the only lighter still in production. Wow, you look old. You sound old as shit, old man. But what is that? Oh, is this like a thing to like target? No way. Those don't auto quick select everything. Oh, sun's about to set. I'll just wait for the client. I can look at my newspaper articles until the client gets here. All right. Where's your newspapers? Oh, you know what? They're in the filing cabinet. But he didn't want to open it. Oh. Oh, the other newspaper articles, because there were four on the wall, and you only looked at the one. You looked at that one. Oh, they're individual, that's true. Yeah. Right, okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, okay, so attention to detail is a thing. They all are going to matter. All yeah, right. okay. Newspaper article is reporting on the success of the first manned mission to Mars. To partner while undergoing my police knots training. I was written 26 years before the article about my rescue. I wanna, I, I, I'd like to mention something. Mm -hmm. That, what language is that? It looks like Russian. It looks like Russian. I'm not all that familiar with Cyrillic text. Oh, Russia, America. Yeah, it's a Russian mm -hmm. newspaper order. Okay, there it is. All right. Mission to Mars. We're already behind on that Mars shit. Weren't people supposed to be living there? Yeah. Or doing their test to Then they saw there? that Matt Damon movie and they closed oh, down. Oh, Matt Damon. He well, scared you gotta do away. it. Beat mm -hmm. the beyond. Two years before. Okay. So that would be your orbital launching bullshit to get further into space. Yeah, your 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 like secondary your your upgraded ISS. Yeah. Space construction of the space colony, uh, and I mean it, it. You know. Drop it onto Australia. Drop it onto Quebec. God, man. That happens. <sighs> that happened in Gundam. D man. In Gundam C. Why got it? Why you gotta drop? Colony on me, but then Char, you're really cool. I like you and all. They called the CL, so it's okay. We uh, also, there's another universe where there's some cool shit that goes down here. Uh, all right, 
we gonna get a, a scene in which somebody comes down from the police knots space station to laugh at fucking Jonathan here? I mean, well, well, or says he's going to, but then actually doesn't. Uh, yeah, this is more of the accident shit. Wow. Oh, so this is like at the time of the accident. Would you keep? Would you keep articles about your horribly like fucked up? Um, PTSD inspiring incident. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, no question. Cause like that's when like somebody can come over to your office, right? And like you're like, okay, before you even talk, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. turn around and read everything on that wall. Ah, uh, okay. And okay. then you turn, they turn around, and you have a big knife out. I mean, I like at the very least, just bookmark it. You don't have to fucking. And have then it you on make the a sandwich, wall. and then they were like, ah, scared you, huh? Whatever, Whatever you do, do don't, don't screw this up, this up. Johnny boy. Everyone back home is going to be watching. Oh. He screwed up. Next time I open my eyes, I was like, oh, So, yeah, so, he, he ripped out. Yeah, okay. And that's that's probably the best way to, to deal with 25 fucking years. Eh, there you go. You did it. Come on in, client. Keeping my eyes closed like a cool guy. Dozo. See, he looks really cool to us, but to all these future people, he must look like a massive dork. Yeah, trying too hard. Probably. 